Well, howdy there, partner. Why don't you giddy up and get going? What on earth am I talking about? I'm talking about Brancalonia, a new spaghetti fantasy setting for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. It's a beautifully illustrated, very well written book which gives you everything you could want to run a spaghetti western style adventure in a 5th edition setting. It's really, really cool and the book that, they, that you can actually get to get a sample comes with an entire adventure that you can run and uh, I have to say it's really, really fun and really impressive. Now their Kickstarter is currently running and if the video that they've got here doesn't inspire you then I don't know what will it's beautifully done incredibly inspirational the music you're hearing now is actually from that video they were funded within half an hour so they're doing something right and all of the information you could possibly want plus free downloads is on the Kickstarter link down below so thanks to them for making today's video on encounters possible I want my combats to be slightly more interesting, but the problem is that they're always just hack and slash and everyone dies and the PCs win all the time and it's not particularly exciting, it's rather boring as a matter of fact, and I don't know what to do. This is what you do. Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Guy and we're going to be looking at how to make encounters, encounters, that much more interesting. Let's say you have a standard party. The party go wandering through the woods and they come across a group of um, minotaurs. The minotaurs are all geared up to fight with the party. The party slay all the minotaurs because they're just that much better and ultimately they are the player characters and should prevail anyway. The minotaurs all die. Is that an exciting encounter? I'm not particularly sure it is, and there's a reason for it. What were the stakes? Well, apart from beef steak from a minotaur. Do you get steak from a minotaur? Oh, we'll have to figure that one out. Anyway, uh, what were the stakes? There weren't very many stakes. The PCs beat the snot out of the minotaurs. Okay. What were the options? The PCs beat the minotaurs. What triggered the attack? Well, the minotaurs were there and the PCs walked up to them. Ha! Huh. Okay, do you see the problem? If you don't have stakes, if you don't have options, if you don't have triggers, your encounters are going to literally feel like that one I have just described. So how do we do it? So if there's no stakes, there should be a no encounter. If you have a bunch of minotaurs loitering around and they see a bunch of PCs wandering around, if the minotaurs are just peacefully doing their own thing, they wouldn't engage with the PCs, and if the PCs came towards them, the Minotaurs would be defensive and possibly trying to avoid that combat. It is very seldom life or death. It's usually, uh, could it be life or not death, please? And maybe cake, but, you know, the sugar gluten-free kind uh, because of Earl. Um, but, you know, it, it's very seldom life or death, and we treat most encounters as if the creatures are happy to die. They shouldn't be. They really 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 shouldn't be the entire purpose of nature is not to die so why do we take that out of the game when we're running the game we shouldn't we should put it back in the game very emphatically that the minotaurs if they have no stakes they won't stay around they will not engage in a combat they will talk <gasps> oh no dialogue well i've got a video on how to do dialogue on the fly so it's absolutely fine but we need to have a stake Let's say the Minotaurs have been hired to attack the PCs because the person who hired them offered to give them just a lot of money. Now there's a stake. If the Minotaurs do not attack, they don't get paid. That makes them very, very sad. So now they will attack the PCs, but it's not life or death. Would you do your job or die? No, most likely you wouldn't. You probably wouldn't. So our Minotaurs should not be willing to die over a couple coin. Even if it's a lot of coin, they shouldn't be willing to die over it. So as the battle continues and the Minotaurs realise that poor old Earl is now no longer having to worry about his gluten problem, they should stop. <laughs> hey, let's move on. Um, I don't want to be trampled in this particular situation. Situation. Um, I'm a coward. Awful, I know. But they would try and to stop life or not death, please. And now we can actually have better tasting cake, so it's actually probably a nice thing to stop. So 
We have a stake. It gives the motivation to engage in the combat, but it gives the motivation to stop the combat as well. It also means that our minotaurs might see the PCs walking past and go, ha, they are rested. Those PCs look like they are just awesomely happy. There is no way the four of us, even you, Earl, could take on those people. Let's wait until later. As a GM, your narrative is to the party, you're walking down the street and you happen to notice a couple minotaur goons loitering in the shadows. They're eyeing you but keeping their distance. If the PCs walk towards said minotaur goons, the goons will back away and eventually, if pressed, the goons might say, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, just chewing the cud, me and the lads, not doing anything, nothing. Thank you very much for loitering and looking at us. Move along, move along, bovines only. You know, get your own space to loiter in. They'll be defensive, they'll be dismissive. Maybe one of them might be trying to assess the PCs and going, well, that looks like a magic sword. That look, oh. <laughs> But that's about it. They're going to avoid confrontation. They have not been triggered because the stake is not yet ready. It needs a couple more minutes. So then they watch the PCs wander away. The PCs are going, well, that was very weird. A strange encounter, GM. That's odd. Until the PCs have gone off, beaten a dragon, got beaten up by said dragon, and then they're walking back, and then the Minotaurs come up and say, Actually, I need to chew the fat with you. Um, sorry, but we got to do this. Um, we were hired to do it, and now's the great opportunity to do it. What it has done is it has escalated your encounter from being just a battle with a bunch of Minotaurs to now having a long narrative, to having this amazing opportunity for the PCs to get really angry against these minotaurs for the minotaurs to surrender and for the triggering of that encounter to actually make sense so it isn't just this random oh yeah you fight some minotaurs you kill them yeah okay thanks very much for playing it's so much better it's so much stronger by adding in stakes options and triggers so this is how we're going to do it give your npcs objectives with limits go kill the pcs and if you don't succeed i will kill you or we could try and kill the PCs, not kill the PCs, and then just move to another pasture. There are the grasses greener on that side. No, it really is. The manure they're putting down there is so much better than what they're doing. They're putting down here. It really is. Give them limits. Give them objectives. It's it's as simple as that. And just always remember, they can surrender. They can surrender, and it helps you as the GM. Don't think of it as like I will win against my PCs. Yes, your imaginary creatures will beat their imaginary characters using dice and imaginary statistics. Yay. No, don't look at it as a competition. It isn't. If you do it that way, you've already lost. Look at it as a, this is a character, this is an NPC. The NPC is going to surrender. The character may just decapitate them. Murder hobos. The characters may interrogate them, and then you have plot opportunity. Who hired you? Oh, it was that strange man in the purple cape. Uh, he was down that street at um, Omicron uh, Industries. Uh, doing something weird. Um, so that's what he was doing. Yeah. The PCs now have an adventure that they're going to go on because they are definitely going to go on it. Someone hired them, hired Minotaurs to beat them up. They really want to meet that guy in the purple cape and off they go. You have a new adventure. All from just redesigning your encounters from being something that's just a random drop in to something that makes sense. Now, if you feel you need an encounter and you don't have this all, well, you do now. Because now, whatever you drop in, a wyvern, what are the stakes uh, for a wyvern? It's hunting pegasi. Uh, if the wyvern has something to gain, the combat will make more sense. And when that wyvern retreats, the PCs will feel even more victorious than if they just eventually beat the poor thing to death. Just like the Minotaurs. Be more creative in terms of trying to get out of combat than just throwing more combat at the party and you will find your games that much better tonight or tomorrow, whenever you're running your game, run your encounter like this. Just try it once and I guarantee you, you will see that it is a much more interesting way to run your encounters than, than you've ever encountered before. Anyway, until next time, I wish you and yours the happiest of gaming. Well, this video was sponsored by the Spaghetti Fantasy RPG setting 
Brancalonia. Now, Brancalonia, of course, I spoke about it at the beginning of the video. It is on Kickstarter. That Kickstarter will end within, I think, 24 hours of this video. So go and check them out. Really comprehensive and lots of it's, it's just just I mean, look at the video. It's beautiful. It's just just beautiful. Links are in the description down below. And um, until next time, wish you and yours the happiest of little camping trails. Yeehaw. Giddy up there, hossy. That was awful. Just awful. I'm going to stop now. <laughs>